What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brandman Sean and today we're going over this boy Stitches and how he was able to go super viral without any kind of record label backing or big name at all. You might find yourself in a similar situation. You know you want to be a rapper or a musician of some sort. You don't have any kind of huge record label backing. You don't have a huge amount of financial resources. So what can you do? Get attention. I can't say this is enough. This is the number one rule of marketing. People have to know something before they're able to buy it. Marketing is just getting awareness out, making people aware of who you are. If you look at Lil Phil, who Stitches originally was, and how many people might kind of stereotype as that average white suburban rapper, but at some point he decided, mm, this ain't gonna work. And he went deep in to creating a character. Not only did he get Stitches, line on his mouth that replicated the Joker and his whole look. This was the beginning of him creating a character and having a very, very, very strong visual image. Obviously, you see something like this, looks kind of crazy, it grabs people's attention, which is a huge thing Stitches does again and again. Because everything he does seems to be pretty extreme. When you got your face looking like this, you can just go to the grocery store, you won't get a look. He does a lot of other things that gets him attention, like create his own controversy, create his own fake news, essentially. This dude had a little video on Instagram or Snapchat, one of them things, and basically had this gold chain. He was riding the highway, he threw the gold chain out. Obviously, he got people thinking, yo, this dude got money. He just throwing it away. This guy crazy, right? Turns out a fan of his was actually riding on the highway low bumper to bumper traffic and he was like yo this is that area where stitches threw that chain out let me figure if i can find it sure enough he was able to find the chain he saw the chain took it to the pawn shop and they were like yo bruh this is fake gold plated copper lo and behold that fan is not much of a fan of stitches anymore but what did this do this got him plenty of attention and what you'll find oftentimes at the end of the day people don't care as much as you think they do it's not my fault just says what it is and another story. Stitches made a video of going to a fan's house, knocking on her door, giving her $10,000, and she was all, <laughs> Lo and behold, Stitches was like, hey, yo, I need that money back. Instead of leaving that $10,000, he gave her $100, called it a day. And as you can expect, this bitch was salty. But why do these two stories matter? Getting attention. I'm not saying that you should do it this way, and but he creates his own fake news. This dude is super aware of all these things that he's doing. It's a ploy, kind of on some Soldier Boy-esque type stuff. So what do you got? You have this huge, very strong visual image that I don't have to explain why it's so strong. You have all these fake news stories. And on top of that, you add controversy. You get crazy stories like this dude performing and he invites girls on stage to do cocaine in the middle of the concert. But wait, there's more. This dude's wife who's at the concert, gets on stage, slaps him, and then he runs off chasing her. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, this is retarded. Obviously, these things get a lot of attention and just create, add more to the name. When they say good press or bad press, both of them could be good, he doesn't really care. And what should be understood is, for better or worse, in a character like this that he has created for himself, all of these stories create a sense of a myth, right? It doesn't feel real, doesn't seem real, especially when you're watching from afar like most people are on the internet. And the internet is just a place where people love love to find something intriguing, stimulating to give their attention. And that's what's allowed him to cap off of one of the number one ways to get money in 2017. This age, people trade attention for money. Attention for money, that's all they're doing. If they can get your attention for long enough, they can figure out how to make money. That's all Facebook does. They don't charge you to get on a platform, but they make money from advertisers. Attention for money. So why does this shit work? Commitment. Whether you like this guy's brand or not, I personally don't condone parts of it. What people have to understand is when you create a brand, you are creating something that you have to commit to for it to work. So no matter what kind of controversy he gets into, no matter what people say they don't like about him, no, how, no matter how many people don't like him, he still commits to his brand. He just acts like, eh. I don't really give a fuck. And that's actually a part of his character too. Even if you have an extremely controversial brand, maybe a lot of people won't like you, but you don't need everybody. You have a few people that really resonate with your brand and they'll rock with you way stronger than just having one of those generic brands where people, you know, are comfortable with you around, but that doesn't mean that they're on your team, on your team. you rather have a few fans that go super hard than a lot of people that, eh, think you're cool. That's it. 
hit that subscribe button.